Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here to take a look at the new Poco M3. This is their budget series entry level device. It just came out. If you're watching this video, today is launch day, November the 27th. So I wanted to go ahead, I've been messing around with this phone for the last couple of days to tell you whether it's any good or not. And the best way I think you can look at a lot of these phones is to test out the gaming performance. If it can play games, it should be able to do most other things pretty well. And I gotta say, I was really surprised with how well this phone can actually game. And a lot of people like to play PUBG, you like to play Call of Duty Mobile, so I wanted to address that in this video and show you how good the gameplay actually is. But before we get into that, I do want to say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now, let's get to some gaming. The first game I want to take a look at is Call of Duty Mobile. So this is like a fan favorite. I enjoyed playing this one. Decided to hop on, give it a whirl, and just dive in and see how good the gameplay actually is. And I had absolutely zero problems with it whatsoever. It actually handled the gameplay really, really well. I mean, I didn't have any real stuttering. It didn't slow down. It's not choppy. It just works. And I'm really impressed, especially when you're looking at a phone that's like $140 to $169 it performs really well. And I have a lot of confidence in saying that if this is something you like to play, if you don't want to spend a ton of money on a phone, and it's got a nice screen too. I mean, 6.53 inches, full HD display, and you don't even need to worry about the four gigabytes of RAM because it doesn't impact the gameplay on either of these games at all. So if you like to play other games like World of Warships or World of Tanks or War Robots, I mean, a lot of war games, but either way, if you like to play video games and i think that this one will probably be right up your alley and i think it puts a lot of other budget phones on notice because with this snapdragon 662 in here i think that it performs pretty darn well so this is it for call of duty we're going to go ahead and move over to another game which i'm sure people are interested in because PUBG is a really big game worldwide everybody likes to play it so we've checked out call of duty we're gonna hop over to PUBG and check that one out and see how it goes. But luckily here, uh, I was able to get a win, so that was cool. The only thing I don't like about these games is you find there's a lot of bots in them, which, I mean, I get it. They gotta throw those in there so they can make the matches and stuff, but I think on mobile it's just a little bit much. But either way, fun game. Gonna get this guy hiding behind the tree here. He thought he was gonna be sneaky and shoot on the other side, but uh, I, I foiled his plans. I made quick work of him, didn't have any issues there. This one, though, I, I'm not the biggest PUBG fan, especially when it takes like 20 minutes to run across the map. But you can see here the gameplay on this one is just as smooth. I was able to engage that guy, knock him out, run around, do some other stuff. And there's there's no there's no problems. And I was really kind of expecting maybe there might be some choppy performance. Maybe the load times might be not so good and all that stuff. And I've used a Snapdragon 660 extensively before in the BlackBerry Mobile Key 2, so I didn't expect like, amazing things from this, but really it was surprising, and like I just said a minute ago, I think it puts a lot of other budget phones on notice because it's just nice, it's smooth, and clearly you can play these games well, and it's like a $150 phone, which is crazy. All right, pretty good, huh? I was really honestly surprised at how well this handles playing video games. Some of the biggest games on the market right now, of course, like I showed, are PUBG and also Call of Duty Mobile. If it can play those, it can play other games like War Robots or World of Tanks or World of Warships. So I thought this would be a good way to show off what the phone is capable of. Also, for people who are interested in entry-level budget gaming performance, you don't want to spend $300. You don't want to spend $500. This one right here runs you about 149 to 169, and if you're watching this video now, you can get it for 129 or 149 because of the early bird special for November the 27th. So later on, it's gonna be regular MSRP. I wanted to get this video out today. It's actually like one o'clock in the morning where I'm at here, but I wanted to make sure this video was available for launch day for anybody looking to check out this phone to see if it's something you wanted to pick up because the price is really solid, especially with the early bird discount. No, I'm, I'm not trying to sell these things. 
This is not a sponsored video. I'm not being compensated for this, but I've been using it and I really wanted to show off some of the things that this can do to let you know whether it's a good phone or not. And yeah, it's pretty darn good at gaming, as you can see. So that's all I've got. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. Hopefully this has given you some information you need if you're looking to pick up one of these. And yeah, I think it's a solid all-around phone. My full review is going to be coming out later. I haven't had enough time to use it yet, so I made this targeted, directed video just to cover some of the gameplay and show off how good it is at playing games. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.